Welcome to the show. Our first guest is uh, bringing sunshine literally all over the world, especially in Africa and other third world nations. Please welcome it, Yosef Abramowicz, a.k.a. Captain Sunshine. Hello, Hello. Captain Sunshine. Hello, world. You are a ray of sunshine. Uh, look who's talking. Aww, <laughs> you're thank the you. Aww, so, so, aww, I'm blushing now. <laughs> so you're originally from Boston. Yeah. I know you came here as a child. You went back and yeah. then you then you came back to Israel. What was it about the pool of being here to do your purpose as opposed to being in the States? We, we come from an activist uh, family. Like my, my dad was at the March in Washington. My mom pulled me out of Jewish day school for civil disobedience training one day. Wow. Um, and so to be able to make a difference in the world was always part of our Jewish identity. Um, and when we came to Israel for two years as a family to Kibbutz Keturah and the Arava, uh, when I realized there was no electricity being produced by the sun in one of the sunniest places on the planet, and everyone said the reason is because of the government and no one's crazy enough to fight the government. I was like, I am! I love Hello. that. I love that. For a good cause, happy to beat up a government. And, uh, well, it's hard for any government official to say no to you because um, you are a ray of sunshine. No, they have. But you got to stay with it. And, um, and our vision really is that for Israel to be a renewable light onto the nations, which means we got to get our own house in order and then kind of export this vision and the technology and the finance. Well, you've done more than exporting the vision. I mean, just looking at, at all of these pictures, I mean, you mm. literally, you know, we'll say single-handedly, I'm no, saying no, it because no. I know you're humble, but, no. you know, you've gotten so many countries that Africa on board and like all of the, look at these solar panels, like mm. why is, you know, first of all, how have you been able to accomplish all this in such a short amount of time? Well, it's all about teams. Look, in Israel, David Rosenblatt, Ed Hofland and I put together the team out of a power and we did the first commercial scale solar fields. We had to win a hundred political, regulatory, and statutory battles. It was ridiculous to do it. But if you go to the south of Israel, you can, you can see them in the south. And we mm -hmm. actually had a vision, this is back in 2006, that mm -hmm. from the Red Sea to the Dead Sea, we wanted to be 100% powered by the sun during the day. And everyone says it's impossible. Electric company, all the politicians, today, we're at 70%. Wow. And by 2020, we'll be at 200 percent. That is really and so. Amazing. This is the model for the rest of the world. For the rest, of, yeah. You use it as a model, and you know, and I know that you were saying that all the African countries have come to you, and now to yeah. take it there. I mean, first of all, why is it so important? You know, as an American, but representing Israel as yeah. being, you know, pioneers in in you know sustainable you know, energy in Africa. Well, what, one of the very interesting things about many Africans that you meet is that they actually expect the Jewish state to do great things. That they're, they're, whether it's because of the Bible or because of, you know, they see what we've done in the same amount of time mm -hmm. that they've also freed themselves from colonialism and you can see the difference in um, living standards and basic services. So they expect it both from a faith as well as from a pure evidence that they can see it. But we have a lot to offer. And by Israel being so hard and I cursed every day, <laughs> at the end of it I was like, wait a second. What about Africa? There's no like Israel land authority? Bring it on, piece of cake. So we were very motivated. We had a really good toolkit. And frankly, we also know how to do security. And security is a big part. If you're gonna invest $100 million somewhere in a solar field, you wanna make sure that it that it's gonna work for 25 years. All right, so do you feel like you really are, you know, this is about tikkun olam, I yeah. mean, and I think, you know, Yes, this started many years ago before more and more and more natural disasters have happened, but this yeah. is explain why this really is the future for our planet actually being able to keep sustaining itself. Two words, Hurricane Harvey. I mean, when the waters are warmer, it supercharges any kind of storm. And so what we're seeing before us is what actually happens all the time in the, in the Far East, these super monsoons that are just, you know, on steroids because of the, of the warming waters. And, so the number of deaths, you know, right now we're, we're only, right, only at 30 or so, but, you know, in Mumbai, they have a storm today just as severe where hundreds of people have already lost their lives. And so climate change is real, it's here to stay, and we, and we need solutions. And Israel is a great platform for, for being able to prove out solutions to global problems. Right. And so since we're getting past 100% renewable in the south of Israel, the whole world can go there. And you know what? It's not charity, and it's not even subsidized. We have a business model for Tikkun Olam. We have a business model that can scale that is changing the world. So right now we're doing 6% of Rwanda's power with a single solar field. We're wow. about to do 15% of Burundi's power, 25% of Liberia's power, and maybe up to 100% of Juba, South Sudan's power with clean, 
cheaper energy that really enhances development. Well, social and economic. it's free. I mean, you look at, you know, studying, you know, spirituality, the Torah, everything is the sun. I mean, yeah. the sun is, is the sun. Like, why has it taken so long for science to catch up to, like, the world's number one natural resource, <laughs> which is why we exist, why we breathe, why plants exist? Yeah, why did it take so long? God gave us the light, and it's the, not just photons, it's also the light of understanding. We mm -hmm. understand that this has to be the way. There are very big entrenched interests that try to block uh, solar from coming in. Oil companies, coal companies, gas companies, and uh, they have a very strong it's a, political... It's a literal light and dark. It, we really feel we're in an epic battle, mm -hmm. uh, both in a sense for the health of the planet and the soul of the world. Absolutely. And uh, right, the fuel is free and it's clean. Um, and it really helps bring people out of poverty. We, we have a quadruple bottom line. It's good for investors, good for the environment. We're always looking for humanitarian benefit. And we want to support Israel's diplomatic uh, good name in the world. So working in Africa, especially with Prime Minister Netanyahu, I've been there already with him three times with African I leaders. I love that you're buddy buddy. Let's tell tell us about yeah. you have a big initiative in October. I know it's the fourth time, but you're like literally traveling with Bibi to Africa. Yeah, so we you, have, we, we're not buddy buddy from the point of view of uh, getting beers he's like, together. Yeah, oh, he's not inviting you over uh, for a drink. Well, no, because my, my wife would take Wait, him actually, down. Actually, first we have a clip. Hold on, and then let's great. continue. Let's go. The to clip the involves side. Netanyahu and the UN. Oh, great. Thank you. From this mountaintop, we call on the United Nations to affirm that access to green power and affordable green power should be elevated as a fundamental human right for all of humanity and for all people. <laughs> to invest $2 billion into Africa. Israel is coming back to Africa. Africa is coming back to Israel. Dude, like, <laughs> seriously, I mean, how cool is this? I mean, I think, you know, him going and, you know, you're going out for the fourth time, but I mean, the UN is so important. I mean, do you think this could help be a linchpin in, like, just changing the whole perception of Israel from the standpoint of the UN, which is such a major problem? A quarter of the votes in the UN are African countries, and two swing votes on the UN Security Council are African countries. This makes a difference. We, we, when we invest and we make good economic and social change and contributions, the votes tend to come to, to come along. So October 23rd in Togo is the first Africa-Israel summit with Netanyahu ministers, he, African heads of state, about 100 Israeli b businesses, and the deals are going down there in a big way. We're, we've committed $2 billion to invest uh, in Africa in the next five years. Uh, and quadruple bottom line, and we, we get to raise the flag. And this is just, honestly, things. what you're doing is incredible, and I know, like, you've been honored by all kinds. Let's see, the top six global green pioneer. I mean, you're recognized by everyone, so, uh, you know, and you're such an outgoing guy. I mean, is there any chance that there be a political in the future? That, that so, would, I, my team, thank you for asking. The, the I don't like the political party system here. I think it kind of corners people. That's why it takes into, Americans to change. I'm like, we need Americans yeah, involved, yeah, right? Yeah, the, the only position I'd be involved in would be uh, the presidency, and, and because that, that has to be above the petty politics of the of the different parties. So let's see if we have a good solar exit in the next three to four years, and, and we, How we might cool go for is this? That. And then your beautiful daughter, who's over here, is going to handle all your social media. Uh, we got to run out of time, but say hi. Hi. hi She's in the back. Background, but anyway, she's cute and adorable, and we like her. All right, thank you so much. Thank you very, very and, much. And uh, I know you'll be back a lot. Yeah, thank you. You know, we're like old friends at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Right. And we'll, we're going to have a book out soon, too, so we'll... Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. So we'll have that, too. Thank you. All right, coming up next...